Today, we are announcing new ways to find more answers to your observability questions. With telemetry you already have in New Relic, using new NRQL query functions. These functions let you bring together different sources of data in a single query, with the fast results you expect from New Relic. Let's talk about joins, lookups, and GeoIP. With these features, you can stop making multiple queries, stop exporting queries from New Relic into spreadsheets to be combined with business data, and you can avoid duplicating the attributes that you collect across different but related data types. So first, subquery joins. They let you bring together multiple data types in a single query. For example, I have application data on web transaction performance here in transaction events, broken down by which container those transactions were, were occurring uh, with. So then I can combine that data with data from infrastructure about how much CPU was being used. I can join those two types of data on the container ID that they share in common, so that then I can get how much time spent in web transactions per unit of CPU that I expended. And from this example, I can see that for the order processing containers, I'm getting a, a pretty big range of, of performance. Some containers are taking a bit longer per unit of CPU than others. That'd be an interesting difference for me to look into more deeply. Now onto lookups. Lookups let you refer to business data from a source of truth in all of your queries without having to store that data on all of that telemetry that you collect. For example, I'm collecting HTTP response codes, but I might want a dashboard that gives me a more human readable description of what a 503 versus a 500 is. And to do that, I can go into the logs area in New Relic Go to lookup tables, and I can add a table by uploading a CSV file. For example, one here that maps all the status codes for HTTP to some informational text about what they really mean. So I can just upload that file, got it here under status code table, and then in my queries, I can do a lookup where I pick out the status code as well as that text information, join it using joins on the, um, the log queries where I'm uh, looking where I've got that status code. And then in my results, I've got a lot more descriptive information about what each of those uh, errors really means. Now, imagine you are a retailer logging activity from all of your stores with that store's ID, or even with the items that your customers are checking out, I can use lookups to bring in business data describing those stores or those items, and I can cross-reference it with any of the performance information in my logs or my metrics about what's happening with those transactions. Finally, GeoIP lets me translate IP addresses into geographical data so I can understand where in the world my traffic is coming from. For example, I've got a lot of uh, logs here broken down by what IP address they're coming from. And if I wanted to see where those things were in the world, I can go into logs, create a parsing rule, and I'm gonna create one from my, uh, my CDN data here. And so, I can uh, paste in an example of kind of the filter that will find the kind of logs I want to get geographic information from. And then I'll create a, an expression using the GRA curricular expression language. And that's all documented in our documentation on, on how to write the right GRA expression. But I can create that expression and I can extract and add to my data any of this geographic information that I'm interested in. Now, once I've created that rule, the logs that come in with those IP addresses will now uh, be able to associate that geographical information with every log line. So here I can find the name 
and country code for all of those different IP addresses and now break down my log traffic uh, based on those geographies. So all of these features, joins, lookups, and GeoIP are available today to all New Relic customers.